you telling me there's two different ver uh, rates we're putting this down at? No, just one. So what do we got in it? So we've got potash, sulfur, and boron in there. So it's mostly potash, 250 pounds of potash to the acre, 18 of sulfurate of boron. I did put a little drying agent in there too, because it's just so humid out here, just so you get a good, good consistent spread pattern. We just checked the weather and they're saying rain at five o'clock, so we got four hours. I hope you can get this spread in four hours. Uh, That's what I'm no, saying. Not a doubt. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, um, this is one of our uh, stainless steel spreaders. It's really a nice setup. It comes from egg systems. We've got a, uh, a drive wheel right here. Yep. So your hydraulics are going to engage and disengage your spreading. Uh, the drive is based, um, of course, off of this, and we've got a high range and low range. Um, we've got them labeled here, your small wheels, your high range, and your uh, large wheels, your low range. So we're set to low range here on the chain. And if you come to the back of the spreader, there's going to be a chart. So when we send out a fertilizer sheet, it's going to tell us the density. So our density is 68. Uh, 0.04 pounds per cubic foot. So uh, we're going to look here at a, it's a 50 foot uh, spread pattern. We're going to go to 68 here, and we know that we're going to spread at uh, 200, and I'm trying to think 18 and 8, so we've got 26. Uh, so 276. So if we look down here, we're about 280 at 4 inches, so we want to be just short of 4 inches right there so this is our measurement right now it's at five inches so we want to crank it down the door controls the rate yep so now we got the door set according to the chart to just under four inches and no matter what speed you drive it that's always. the rate it's going to be putting down so we put the compass display which is just a egg leader simplest light bar in the tractor we've got the gps plugged in it's plugged into a cigarette lighter we're going to put the width of this so this is a 50 foot spread pattern mm -hmm. so we're going to tell the display that we're spreading at 50 foot and then it'll show you where we spread and where you need to go okay i want to show some monitor real quick yep i like this one because it's a really easy setup we just plugged into the cigarette lighter here it's got one cable going up to the gps globe which you got right in the front up on top and then of course the one that plugs into the back of the display. So this is on keyed power. We're gonna turn on the tractor. So it's got the lights at the top, which will tell us if we need to steer right or left. There's two different ways you can set that up. You can either do what's called chase, or uh, I think the other one's called follow, but uh, we're going to go into our settings here. Antenna height from ground we have set at 120 inches. And it's right on the center line of the tractor. We don't need to change that. Implement width then we're going to change to 50 feet. Because that's our spreader width. Uh, the spreader is about 20 feet behind the antenna. And we do not have an implement switch. Now I was thinking about setting this up with a switch. Um, I was missing one cable that I needed but uh, it's about 500 bucks to add the implement switch to this. Yeah. What that does is as soon as we would let the, um, the arm down with the wheel to run everything, it would trigger this and tell it to start mapping. Okay. But we can manually start mapping just by hitting a button on the screen. Okay. So we're in the shed, we don't have any GPS signal right now, um, but we can go ahead and uh, add a grower here. So we got WSX Center. Um, and then home, be able to be home. And then we're going to go out and it's going to paint as we go. Now we can set our guidance and this will also control auto steer. If, if we've got auto steer in the tractor, we'll just set our guidance pattern here. Once we have GPS, it'll let us select a new pattern. So we'll get out in the field and we'll set that up. Sure. So we're setting up the fertilizer spreader. Uh, we're gonna be spreading on the hay ground, or at least what is hay here, and then whatever's grass out at my place. 
So Andrew brought up this spreader this morning. He set up the uh, GPS in the 7600, which I believe is a first. I don't think we've had the GPS ever set up or any kind of GPS set up in the 7600. But when I was working back for my internship back in college, I was working at a co-op and I was pulling one of these behind the truck. I had just loaded it up and I had pulled out onto the road, full load. I think they were like, it was like a six ton cart. And the farmer who had it before made some changes on the hitch, which made the drive wheel come in con like close contact with the uh, large wheel, which actually drives it. So what happened was we loaded it with fertilizer. That contact wheel made contact when I got out onto the road because when you were setting it, like when you were going like under 10 miles an hour, it wouldn't spread. But as you went faster, I don't know whether the wheels kind of, uh, kind of inflated a little more or what, but it started making contact on the road. So there was about a half mile worth of fertilizer just dumping straight out onto the road. Luckily, I didn't have to clean that up. <laughs> it wasn't my fault, but uh, it's just one of those little stories from back in my internship. So all right, we're going to get this all set up. Travis is going to spread Rockville, and then I'm going to take it out and spread the grass out of my place. So we pulled out of the shed. Yep. We can see that we're detecting satellites. We're just running wash here. We've got 17 satellites. That's plenty. Yep. We don't have a differential yet. It's basically gathering the information it needs to know exactly where we're at. We look at satellite plot. Uh, it'll it'll come up in a second. We got to enable those. So we go to our settings here. We go home, GPS settings.
fertilizer spread. Uh, you might consider spreading fertilizer on any ground that you think needs to be kind of rejuvenated. Um, this includes any pasture ground or especially hay that you've had for more than a few years that kind of needs a little bit of a boost. Uh, we spread some on the new seeding out here because we felt it kind of needed it. But um, anyway, we got it all spread. Now one thing you always want to make sure of is that you always engage the PTO. Because if you don't, uh, case in point, there was a farmer near here who did it a few years ago and for as long as the hay was there, I think it was like three years after they spread it, there was three green strips on their contours where they had spread but they didn't engage the PTO so it wasn't broadcasting the fertilizer, it was just letting it all run out into a pile. So at least those three green strips are really fertilized but the rest of the uh, field was kind of lacking. It's something that anybody can do, um, it's pretty easy to forget but it's just one of those things that you always want to make sure that you never really forget to do. So with that, um, that should be about it for this video. Uh, I'm not sure how much longer we're going to have this little GPS unit in it, but I think if it's in here, I'm going to try to make use out of it. So anyway, thanks for watching this video, you guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And I'll see you next time.